Hi there. Today I want to talk to you about uh, how I've been using this uh, web app called Hajoki. Hajoki is um, basically a consolidator. What this app does is it allows you to connect all kinds of things, um, including feeds from social media, uh, as you can see here, storage places like Dropbox, um, social bookmarks like things by Delicious, even your Google Reader feed can be compiled here. The reason why I got onto it is because I had lots of conversations with teachers about how the Google Drive can be a bit of a nightmare, especially if you're teaching hundreds of students. Each student has a folder shared with you, the teacher, where they deposit their homework. So that means if you want to check to see even if they've done their homework, not to mention mark it, you have to click into each one of these folders every time you think there may be something there. There's got to be a better way, so that's why I went looking to Hojoki. So in this, uh, my test deployment of Hojoki, what I've done is I've linked up my Google Calendar and my Google Drive. So now, anytime anything in my Google Drive is updated or anything on my calendar is updated, I'll see the feed live in Hojoki. But I can also add all these other things as well. So let's just take a look at my feed and I can explain to you how it works. So this is basically everything from most recent on the top to less recent down on the bottom. And the thing I like about Hojoki is that I can see when people have worked on documents that I'm shared, shared on. So here is an example of a recent document that uh, someone on my team has updated and I can filter it lots of different ways. So if I really only want to see the things that are in my Google Drive, I can click on the Google Drive button and see only those things. I can also go more granular than that because what I can do actually is I can filter by a person. So if I'm really interested in seeing what kinds of things um, my colleague Katie Day has done, for example, if I just click on her it's going to filter out everything else. So if I was a teacher, I could do this for the students that are sharing things with me in Google Drive. So I can look for one particular student's work just by filtering by that person. So that's how I've been using Hajoki so far. And I think it could be a really useful way for you to get a handle on the Google Docs that uh, your students are sharing with you. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.